Human sacrifice case prompts calls for laws against superstition in India. So this is wild. On October 11th, two women, Rosalie and Padmont, well, wait, excuse me, this isn't, the date on this isn't correct. Okay, let me correct that. Um, so on October 11th, the police arrested three individuals related to the gruesome murder of Rosalie and Padmont. The plan to murder these women was planned by Mohammed Shafi, a repeat offender. Shafi had convinced a couple, uh, oh my gosh, sorry about this names, Bhagawal Singh and his wife Layla, that if they performed a human sacrifice ritual, a goddess would be pleased and bless them with good fortune, solving their financial difficulties. Shafi and the couples killed Rusli, uh, 49 years old, in June, and Padman, 52, in September. Further investigation showed that Shafi had previous charges, including that of RAPE, I cannot say the word on YouTube, theft and attempted murder. After Padman's family filed the missing person complaint, the murders were brought to light following a police investigation. Chairperson of the Kerala State Women's Commission, P. Uh, Sathi Devi said, quote, it is so frightening to see that brutal acts, including human sacrifice, are taking place in a society like ours, which boasts high educational standards. Reports say these murders have garnered concern about the need for a law against black magic and harmful rituals performed in the name of faith. So, okay, Arjun is asking a very good question. He's asking, the f <laughs> the fuck is a Muslim man endorsing Hindu superstitions? And okay, here's the the story as I understand it. I don't know why the hell this guy got involved with this. This man has been reported to be some sort of pervert and sadist. Okay, he's a repeat offender, and he contacted this couple. I don't know how he knew to contact them, but reports say that he contacted this couple under a fake account. And this fake account was like some woman. And the, the, the woman, quote unquote, contacted this couple and said, oh, hey, like I know this sorcerer, basically. And if you do what this sorcerer says, he will solve your financial difficulties, blah, blah, blah. And then this fake account female connected them to... Shafi, Muhammad Shafi, who I think was going by like a different name for the sake of contacting, for communicating with this couple. Anyways, Shafi convinced this couple to give him like, I think like 3,000 rupees, and then he would help them do this black magic ritual that would help them gain prosperity. And Somehow he convinced them that the best way to do that is through human sacrifice. And so over a series of months, they murdered one woman and then they murdered another woman. And then they cut the bodies into like 56 pieces each. And what? Yes. And then buried them somewhere on the property of this couple. And eventually the police caught on because they found CCTV footage of Shafi, Muhammad Shafi, um, walking with one of the women into a property or whatever. And they started to put the pieces together. And it's absolutely, I mean, this is obviously absolutely insane. But it's shocked the community a lot because when Kerala is relative to many places in India, much more highly educated and has much greater literacy rates. And I was watching interviews with people that were in the actual um, neighborhood or district of this couple that knew them. And they were like, this is absolutely insane because the man who was the husband in this couple was apparently like pretty highly educated and used to post stuff against superstitions on his Facebook, according to this person that was interviewed, right? What the fuck? And I fundamentally don't understand how you think that killing a human is going to help you fix your finances. This is so bizarre. 
And the Muslim guy was that they hired to do this black magic stuff. He said the god a goddess would be pleased. Yes. He's Muslim. What, are you, what is he talking about goddesses? Yo, this I don't so know confusing. what's going on with this man. Okay. He's presumably Muslim. He comes from a Muslim background, obviously, from his name. Who knows what he actually practices? Because this is freaking wild. I would speculate that this is was some sort of bizarre plot to get money out of this couple to exert this act to maybe fulfill his own sadism. The police say that the couple and the wife itself were directly involved with the murders, although Muhammad Shafi was one of the primary perpetrators. And um, yeah, this is like he got them in some sort of mind trap or something. Um, oh yeah, Dia saying that the videos of the neighbors things included in the article. No, it's um the one below, the second one. Yeah, exactly. I mean, um, you're going to have to pause to read the subtitles because obviously they're not speaking in English. But, um, the interviews with the neighbors are towards the end. Yeah, like about right there. Hmm. Okay, we want, we're not going to go through it. Oh. They, want, they have seen him several times. Two weeks. Okay, so we're not going to go. Guys, the link to these articles are in the description if you guys want to go and check out these. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Oh, this is fascinating. Shriyash says roughly 3% of Indian Muslims surveyed by Pew Research Center said that they believe in multiple multiple gods and goddesses exist that's fascinating i want to meet those three percent of indian muslims satya saying in india shirk is not that big of a thing susanna even among the poor muslims i guess i guess you don't as a, if you're born in india and you're poor you're not going to be like educated on what you're supposed to really believe a muslim you're just like sure allah is real look at all these mosques and stuff people are telling me it's real and also there's whole, like how could like the goddesses not be real there's so many people who believe in them or gods and goddesses like that's all the re all the evidence you need like their statues people pray mm. to them like so you're exposed to that culture so they're like you know they must be real yeah there was Weird. one comment i wanted to bring satya was like thank god <laughs> And Dutfa won't be blamed for this. When I was doing research for this on the show, there actually was some local, I don't know if she was a legislator or a party leader or something, but there was a lady that was blaming Hindutva for this. And I was like, how? oh, come on, man. Like, How was Hindutva blamed for this? I don't know. It didn't make any sense because Just they please. promote superstition and... Modi. Okay, they were saying because during the pandemic, Modi promoted a bunch of woo woo stuff to treat the beer bugs. I'm still using coded language for YouTube. Basically, they were like tr trying to say that M Modi promotes woo woo superstition stuff. And so that informs people to do this kind of thing. I was like, oh, that is such a reach. Like, I'm anti Hindutva, and even I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> um, Sasha, we know it was, a, we know what you're saying, it was a joke, but we are, but that's actually, actually real, though. <laughs> but it's real, somebody was actually blaming Hindutva. Um, um there was, oh, there was something oh, else this. I wanted to say that wasn't Selma is saying all the Muslim shops will have pictures of all three major religious symbols, really interesting. That's shirky. That's very shirky. All like, three serious Muslim symbols as in what? I don't know, the Om or something? But that's haram. Yeah, exactly. People are saying it's haram. You can't do that. You shouldn't be doing that. Like if you're a Muslim and you're hanging like, I don't know, something Hindu on your wall, like that, as a Muslim, you're not supposed to do that. That's yeah. celebrating shirk. What's really interesting is that Kerala already has a bill and it's titled the Kerala Prevention and Eradication of Inhuman Evil Practices, Sorcery and Black Magic Bill that's been waiting for approval in the Legislative Assembly since like, yeah, 2019. 
and it's supposed to help promote greater um, enforcement and prosecution against people that do these kinds of things. And after this happened, there's been a huge call to improve critical thinking skills. And there were other people blaming the media, saying like the media is very unlikely to even promote or publish the slightest cr criticism of dominant narratives. So they've ushered in kind of like a weakening of critical thinking in general, um, which I thought was interesting, although I think the issue goes much deeper than that. Um, but I love, and I, I was just, I mean, me being me, I was excited to see people speaking literally like we need to promote critical thinking like as such. Because you I'm know what, thinking. you know what would be a good Hindutva narrative? You should say, like, look, these Muslims talking about goddesses and stuff and hanging Hindu stuff, and the, it shows that they're inside, they, they long to come back home. <laughs> they are truly Hindus, okay? You cannot cover all that Hindu with any Islam, okay? You might want to hide. Covered with all that Islam, but inside, inside, they still know that they're truly Hindu. I don't know if, given the the context of this case, if they want to. I don't know if they want to take ownership of that. <laughs> I wasn't talking. I wasn't talking about this case. I was talking about. God damn it, Susie! I was talking about hanging Hindu stuff. Ah, uh, okay. okay. But you know what? Never mind. All right. <laughs> sure, don't give right. them ideas. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah, yeah, human sacrifice is not a good way to signal that you want to come back home. Um, oh, interesting. Yeah. This is wait, Gregory has a comment. I wonder where Gregory is, though, because that where he's located changes the context of this a lot. He's saying we have the suppression of witchcraft and Satanism bill, it's used to crack down on Christians and has been ruled unconstitutional as it's already illegal. I think he might be in South. Africa based on previous comments. I think I don't know, it's it's if if it's a there are certain religious practices that should be banned in traditions that should be banned by the state because they are so harmful to society. So even if it is a religious freedom violation technically. Um but if this is mainly like a way that people are just persecuted for having non-harmful religious practice, then I think that's completely wrong. But if it's bills that usher in more stringent punishments against ritualized abuse, then I think that's much more tenable, in my opinion. Um. That's the women Shriyash is saying the women sacrificed were tore, were told that they will be paid for doing adult video content. What? Okay, I don't I haven't read that in anything that I researched, so I can't confirm mm -hmm. that. But I maybe that's true. I find that a little bit hard to believe, but who knows? I mean, that um, would be a good a good reason. That would be a good cover. Because that would make them not tell anybody. Like, oh, this is the reason why we're being hush hush about it. So it's a good cover up. Mm. Maybe. Because if, if it's for anything else, I might tell a friend, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, come here for insane. Me I think black magic parties would be cool. Please don't ban that. Okay. Especially if you're doing like sick black metal. <laughs> Yes, just don't do human sacrifice or any sacrifice. Yeah, don't 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 abuse and torture people in the name of some weird freaking fake ass superstition. Okay. If you're Cut just sitting vegetable. around like with some candles in a cool pattern mm. and <laughs> yeah, D is who fact checks everything is saying I didn't read that anywhere. Yeah, so I'm very skeptical about that know. claim. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says, get our free blasphemous art.